So hi everyone, it's Toast and Waffle here, and recently for my birthday, I got two items and some other stuff. So here they are, Hugo and Nia. Let's take a look at Hugo first. Hugo is based off on a rail railway zeppelin and was built, I think, uh, it was based off in like 19, some, in the 1920s or 1930s or something. And I really like him. The color scheme is really nice. I like how he's all shiny like. His face looks pretty good and the propeller looks really good as well. And yeah, looks really nice. I don't know what these two things are, but they're really nice. And he also runs on the track really smoothly. Next, we'll take a look at Nia. Nia looks really nice, honestly. You can see her pink color scheme. I originally thought these wheels were actually supposed to move, but they don't. Um, her face looks pretty nice. Though it does have s both of these engines actually do have some goose. One is that her lamp iron is, I think, it's supposed to be a gold color or something. Also, this always happens with some of the models, but you know their buffers aren't quite painted. Also, uh, actually, yeah, and uh oh yeah, one more thing. This is actually supposed to be painted, but for some reason, I think it's supposed to be black and green, but for some reason they didn't paint that. Overall, it's a really nice uh, model. Great uh, paint job, uh, especially the details like the dome, the outline, separately applied whistle, and yeah. And also for Hugo, they're not really that much goose. One thing that I really like about them is how they didn't include the couplings. Unlike Trackmaster, as well as Wooden Railway, that included the, included the couplings. So I'm really glad that Adventures took note of this. The only the only goof I have is that these two lights aren't really painted. I think they're supposed to be yellow. Alright guys, that was my review on Nia and Hugo. This is day 3 of birthday week. Stay tuned for tomorrow.